All right, Honors Physics, you knew it couldn't be just that easy, right? So you guys get to do two lens calculations, and this really helps us to see why, how we can actually see. So we have our object distance in front of the first lens, and we're going to use the thin lens equation. So it's all about 1 over f equals 1 over di plus 1 over do. Okay, now here's the thing. So you're going to have your image in out. Okay, so here's our image, right? The image for the first lens becomes the object for your second lens. So you need to find this distance here. This is your new DO. So you're going to use this equation twice. You're going to do it again with the second lens. Okay, but you need to know and find what that distance is. And then you can get your image distance. And this is where, you know, not necessarily is your real image upright because if we go through and do the ray diagram again straight through the middle in parallel out through the focal point we are going to have a real image because those are real light rays that meet up but our real image now is upright and it's upright because it's basically been flipped over twice it got flipped over here by the first lens and then it got flipped over again by a second lens. But see, none of these light rays are dotted. They're all solid light rays. So it's real and upright. Now that's not always going to be the case because the second lens could be a um, diverging lens or you might be inside the focal point. If you're inside the focal point, then your image might end up over here. Actually, it would be over here and it would be inverted and virtual. Did that confuse you? I bet it did. So we're going to actually do a couple examples to show you how it would work. Okay, honors. <clears throat> you knew it couldn't be that easy, right? So. Okay, so let's say we're given this setup. You might want to pause and sketch this at this point. In the problem, it would give you all this in word form, so it would be very helpful for you if you would actually sketch it out. So let's say we had two convex lenses separated by 20 centimeters. So we have two convex lenses separated by 20 centimeters. The focal length of the first one is 5 centimeters and the focal length of the second one is 2 centimeters. And we have our object placed in front of the first lens. And we want to know where is our image, what kind of image, is it upright or, or inverted, etc. Okay. So we're going to do the 1 over f equation, the thin lens equation, for the first one. 1 over 5 is equal to, now our DO is our 10 centimeters, because that's how far it is from the object to the lens. 1 over 10 plus 1 over DI. So we solve that and we get DI equals 10 centimeters. Now it's just chance that they're the same, so don't think that your DI and your DO are always going to be the same. So here's what that tells us. That tells us that our image from this first lens is a real image, so it's going to be over here, and it's 10 centimeters away from this lens. So this distance here is 10 centimeters. And so that image is going to be the object for our second lens. Now we know that this one's inverted because it's real. From the first lens, it's real. So then we need to find how far is it from this image to this lens. Well, it's 10 centimeters from the first lens. There's 20 centimeters in between the two lenses. So this distance here is also 10 centimeters. Again, I picked very easy numbers, so it worked out this way. It's not always going to work out this way. 
Okay, so now we're going to do that equation again, but this time we're going to use the focal length of the second lens because the second lens is what's going to be seeing this object. So 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 10 plus 1 over di. And for the second lens, we get di equals 2.5 centimeters. Okay, so that tells us that our image is over here 2.5 centimeters. Since it's positive, it's going to be real, and so it's on the opposite side. <clears throat> and since it's real, it got flipped over, so our image is going to be upright. So we have a real upright image that is 2.5 centimeters from the second lens. Now how far is it from the object? How far is it from the object? Okay, not hard, okay? This is 10 centimeters, this is 20 centimeters, and this is 2.5 centimeters. So the distance from here to here is just the sum of those. Okay, this is where the drawing really, really helps you figure out all these distances. So 10 and 20 is 30 and 2.5, so it's 32.5 centimeters from the object, from our object. 2.5 centimeters from our second lens, 32.5 centimeters from our object. So make sure you <coughs> answer the question that's being asked. Did somebody say God bless you? I hope so. To find our magnification of the two lens system, our magnification is going to equal negative di over do, but we have to do these individually. So we have to do it for the first lens. The magnification for the first lens, our di is 10 and our do is 10, so that's negative 1. And then we have to do it again for the second lens. Our di now is 2.5 centimeters, and our do was 10 centimeters. So our magnification here is negative 0.25. The overall magnification is just the product of the two. You just take the two magnifications and multiply them by each other, so negative 1 times negative 0.25 gives you a positive 0.25. Now if you knew how big your object was to begin with, you could figure out how big your image is to begin with. So this is kind of a new equation that you want to write down. Let's do one with a diverging lens and then we'll be done. Okay, for a diverging, all I did was I took out the convex one that we had in this first one and I replaced it with a diverging lens of the same focal length. So all of our math is kind of going to be the same but we have to be kind of careful. So 1 over f is equal to 1 over di plus 1 over do. 1 over f, our focal point now since this is a diverging lens, this actually has a negative focal point. So 1 over negative 5 is equal to 1 over 10 plus 1 over di. And so for this time, we get di equal to negative 3.33 centimeters. Make sure you can get that. So pause it and make sure you got that answer. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that it's a virtual image. And since it's a virtual image, our image is actually here because it's made out of those dotted lines that come back through the lens. So a negative, negative DI with lenses means it's here on the left side. It's not made out of real light rays. Real light rays go through a lens. So now when we go to do the second part and we're trying to find the math for this one out here, our distance is actually this distance here, the whole distance from our image 
to our lens. So the distance between the two is 20. We know that this distance here is 3.33. So the whole distance between the two is 22 point, or 23, sorry, di is 23.33 centimeters, or do, that would be do. Okay, so now we're going to apply that to the second, the second lens. So 1 over 2, it's a convex lens, so it's still positive, is equal to 1 over, okay, remember the do is going to be this whole distance here. So it's 23.33 plus 1 over di. And now when we solve for di, we get, we get 2.19 centimeters. So it's positive. That means it's over here. Okay. Our first object was upright, so this one is going to be inverted. So since we have a positive di, that means it's real. Then we went from upright, upright to upright. And so the second one flips it over upright to inverted. So our image is going to be inverted. And we could do the same thing with the magnification. Find the magnification here find the magnification here, and then multiply your two magnifications, and that will give you your final answer. Okay? Now, sometimes in the pretest, it asks you, what is this distance? So this would be x in your thing, and you're going to have to do a little bit of algebra there. So just be careful when you go to do your pretest. All right, I think that should just about do it. If you have any questions, please Feel free to ask in class.